For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to digitize an image with the Embrilliance Embroidery Software. The version that I have is called Stitch Artist. I use level one. And it's currently on sale, but it retails for $169. They also have a free version that you can use when you go to free utilities, hit express. So they have it for Mac and Windows. I like Stitch Artist because it gives you the flexibility to create your own designs. Uh, they have three levels and these are the price ranges for them. And they also have um, some other products. I see most people use the essentials, but I knew that um, I wanted to one day embroider my own logo into clothing or be able to outsource and do it for other people. So that's why I chose um, Stitch Artist Level 1. But these are just some of the other products that they have. And even if you um, do get Stitch Artist Level 1 and you want to upgrade to Level 2 or Level 3 in the future, they do have these options. Um, and these are the price range for them. This is what my screen looks like for Embrilliant Stitch Artist. I am not sure how much different it will look for in Brilliance Express. This square is just a replica of your hoop size so you so you can stay within the borders of the design and you use this button right here and you use your preferences button just to go to all the hoop different variations we are using a jeff file for janome and this is and this is a 9 by 8 size which is the m1 hoop if you're wondering how i got this image i just did a quick uh google search And I typed in heart outline. Go to your images and pretty much just click the one that I like. But I would say to be mindful of some of the images that you choose because they might be subject to copyright. But if you can't draw and you just need a basic shape, this will help you get started. Okay, back into Embrilliance. Okay, these are some of the tools that we need to draw with. If you're also familiar with Photoshop and Brilliance also has a magic wand tool that selects the object for you to create a shape. So I'm just going to zoom in onto this design. Let me deselect this first. Zoom in.
<laughs> I'm going to use the magic wand tool to help me create the outline. Hit enter to save my changes. And I can see right here that the outline of the heart was traced. You can also draw the points manually using this button right here. You can just select where you want them to go. this tool if the design was more detailed and I needed to get to a certain area but for this you can mainly just use the magic tool and it will select it more quickly than this Okay, so you see right here it has been outlined, and now we can just go to the next one, which I'm going to use the magic tool. You have to make sure you're clicking on the outline so it can, can select it. And whichever one you don't need, like this line right here, I don't need it, so I can just go to edit and delete, and it takes it right out. So now we can zoom out. And now we can decide which dishes we want to use to complete our design. Most designs um, have a satin border, so we're going to have a satin border for the outline, which is right here, satin border. And from here, the, in the properties, you can say um, the width of it, if you want to make it skinny. If you want to make it real thick, or if you just want to make it in between. Uh, I like it like that. Then you can adjust the pattern of how you want it to look. Okay, we're going to move on to the next line, which is the X. And we're actually going to fill in this stitch. Okay, so when you fill in the stitch, it just 
pretty much, you know, stitches out your design shape. We're going to fill this in as well. And you know, for the O, there's something in the middle. We're going to fill that in with white. And if you want to change the color, you can just change it right here. I'm going to make, put this back as black. Okay, we're going to zoom out to see what our changes look like. Okay, and this is what our design looks like. So. Let's say if I wanted to do the first line, which is the satin border, as an applique, they also have that. Hit that, and you get to pick which border you want it to be. East stitch, blanket, satin, zigzag, or none. But we're going to make this a satin stitch. And you can also preview any fabric. I'm going to change the color of this. I don't think you can upload a design to preview. It's just something that they have within their system where you can make it seem like there's fabric there and you can have like a preview of something being in the background. This right here is your start and stop button where it shows you where the stitch starts from and where it's going to end. And this right here is your stitch simulator where you can actually see how this design is going to be stitched out. Uh, first, I'm going to go back to my create design and hide the background. And then I'm going to go back to the stitch emulator. I'm going to zoom out. And then we're going to look at the stitch emulator. Okay, you see that this is where the start and stop button was and this is where it's going to end.
depending on the needs for your business, I think that it's a good investment to get the Stitch Artist at least the level one. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it, like, you know, create your own designs or stitch out your own logo so you don't have to pay anyone. I like it. It's very easy to use. And if you want to see more videos on the Embrilliant software as far as fonts or how to work with pre-made designs already, I will have future videos for like, I will have future videos for that and you can be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos.